Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate your interest, whether it's your first time here or a return visit. Today, on Vintage Gaming Memories, we have something different to look at. It's not a vintage handheld game. Instead, well, it's a vintage character. It's Pac-Man. And it's kind of an unboxing, and we'll see if we'll put this together. I think it's pretty easy to get together. It looks like it's a entry grade, six... Age of six plus to do this, uh, you know, come on, can't be that difficult, right? It feels very light itself, so it shouldn't be in many pieces. Um, got this, I think it was on Amazon. It wasn't anything uh, difficult to find. I think it was definitely Amazon. But it is Chicago Bulls, my hometown, born and raised, so nice to have that little bit of it with Pac-Man character. Brand new, like I said. Um... Let's just get right to it. Okay. All right. Oh, we gotta be kidding. Okay, good. That's easy open. All right. Well, like I said, <laughs> it is light because the plastic is probably very cheap. Um, <laughs> there's not much of it. What do we have inside? All right. We got a. LeBron James, <clears throat> be treated like an MVP fan. Okay, great. Different characters for the other teams, the Celtics, Bulls, Golden State, Houston Rockets, Lake, Lakers, and then, of course, the Bucks. which I'm surprised they've made it to that list. No offense for those of you from Milwaukee. Um, here's the instructions, I'm sure. Yes. It's got to be simple. Look at that. How many stages? I like how they did this in stages, just like as if you were playing a game. Eight stages on this first side. Continues on with stages 9 through 14. Um, yeah, well, do I dare do this while recording and just speed it through? Perhaps I will. Let's get this over here for me as a guide. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. And you know what? I need more area to work on this so let's put that here okay well yeah this would be very boring for you to watch me pull this apart so let's just speed this thing through as I do this and then we'll see the end product All right, well, it looks like I used up all the pieces. Nothing's left over, which is good. Just the stickers remain. And um, obviously this is going to take a little bit of time. Nah, not really, but I do want to make sure I do it correctly. So I will not. That's only, what, five stickers, six stickers? Let me take a pause on this so I can have more room to work. And then I'll put these stickers on and show you the final product. Final product. Here it is. What do you think? Actually, it took me longer to do this than it was to actually assemble it. Yeah, nine stickers to put on took a lot longer than for me to assemble this plastic Pac-Man. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. These stickers, nine of them, they don't come off easily. I definitely use a tweezer. And because I'm stricken with the perfectionist uh, trait, Everything had to be under perfect, so it matches exactly as it should to this character on the box, all around. Eyebrows perfect. Same thing with the glove, with the bull's emblem. All the stuff on here should have matched. Very happy. Um, cool, cool little toy. I mean, obviously it's not a vintage thing, but it does support the vintage memory because it is a Pac-Man back from the 70, 80 time frame. This will go my um, game room somewhere, and I will be happy to to put it and, and uh, display it proudly. Well, 
thanks again everyone i just want to appreciate all of you for tuning in and checking out my channel there'll be more videos to come very soon until next time remember keep the gaming passion from the past alive by only doing it one way and that's living it today take care everyone